Is this the perfect LEGO set for aviation geeks? With a length of over 1 meter and a wingspan of 43 centimeters, this model of iconic Concorde is so big that it is difficult to show on video. With Concorde's distinctive silhouette, the first feature that immediately catches the eye are the two ginormous delta wings. Their iconic shape was achieved by a number of different angled slopes. The entire wing is built sideways and during the build you use these clamps to prevent the model from tipping over. Their color choice is a nice easter egg since most of the production rigs used to build real Concorde were actually painted orange as well. Mounted under the wings are four Rolls-Royce Olympus engines which were simplified a bit due to the scale and limitation of Lego parts. Mounted on the trailing edge of the wing are six flapperons which can be moved individually. A nice addition are the corresponding fairings on the bottom of the wing which house the actuators of each flaperon on the real aircraft. Another nice detail are the aerodynamic fairings on both sides of the vertical stabilizer, which cover the actuators of the lower and upper rudder. Just like in the real aircraft, both can be moved individually. The Concorde text is printed on this brick from both sides, however due to the dark blue color, the white feels a little bit faded. Moving towards the nose, a roof section can be removed to reveal a short segment of the cabin with three seat rows, two lavatories, and two galleys. Concorde's tiny windows are printed on these rather large parts which are used to build most of the constant fuselage section. Concorde's distinctive static port shape is resembled by this printed part of which a mirrored version is used on the other side of the fuselage. The end of the cheat line and another Concorde lettering are printed on as well, just like the cockpit window. To replicate the iconic sliding windshield, a new dual-mold LEGO piece has been designed, where the white frame is mold first, followed by the dark grey tinted windshield. This part came in a separate paper bag to make sure it doesn't get any scratches in the box. Speaking of the nose, I am happy to announce, the snoot does indeed droop. The design is very sturdy and almost jumps into place. The sleek nose is designed by a number of different tapered cylinders which looks a bit off, again due to the fact that LEGO parts set a few limits here. Similar issue on the tail cone, which however houses a very nice feature. If you turn it, the landing gear extends and by turning it in the other direction, the landing gear can be retracted again. The model can stand on its own wheels, however the nose gear feels a bit flimsy. To account for that, the set comes with a small but very sturdy stand. The choice of brown reminds of wood which fits the black and golden placard printed on the front very well. Other nice details are the choice of these curved tiles as antennas, as well as these very well done joints between wing, fuselage and wing body fairing. While being without doubt an expensive model priced at 200 euros, it looks really impressive once finished. The building experience was great, especially seeing how all the curved bits are constructed which is not always that straightforward with rectangular bricks. In the LEGO world though this set is priced rather competitive with a price per piece of less than 10 cents, and no stickers as well as the Airbus license and a lot of large pieces. Thanks for watching this rather untypical video from us, feel free to comment your thoughts below.